Hey everyone, Aronica here. Thanks so much for joining me for the sew along for my first Nomi pattern, ME2005, which can be featured here. We're gonna be focusing on sewing view B, which are these pants. The pants are a tapered style and they have a pleated uh, area around the waistband. The waistband features a flat front with an elasticized back. And I love this so much because it's very much so like mullet style, business in the front, party in the back. It gives you the opportunity to really be able to be comfortable in a look that is more tailored. And of course we have pockets, but not like your just teeny tiny pockets. We've got big pockets. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at view B of the Nomi pattern ME2005, which was designed by me. I'm very excited about this pattern piece. Um, I designed these pants so that they were able to be versatile depending upon what fabric option you choose. On the back of the pattern, we do have the body measurements where you can go ahead and choose your sizing. One of the other things that I want to point out is that our finished measurements are actually on the inside on the tutorial. So as you can see here, I did go ahead and circle what finished measurements um, align with how I want this pattern to fit. So you can either choose to use your body measurement or your finished measurements. These pants are designed to be a little on the looser side, so you can make sure that um, you keep that in mind as you're choosing your sizing. As far as fabric options go, you can go ahead and use a, um, a lightweight um, or heavyweight bottom weight fa fabrics. You can use cottons, you can use um, linen blends, you can use some stretch wovens. Ponte would be amazing in this pattern, um, especially if you travel a lot, like if you're a commuter and you want some nice pants. These pants in a Ponte knit, phenomenal, or you can use a double knit. You're also going to need some lightweight interface, some lightweight fusible interfacing for the, your waistband here. In addition to um, having some, um, you're going to need a nine inch invisible zipper in addition to having some elastic here. So the size for the elastic is going to be one and a quarter inch. So just make sure that you have those notions as well. Now let's take a look at our pattern pieces that we're gonna be using. So starting out with pockets, because you can't have pants without pockets because we've got to store things like keys, snacks, etc. Then we have a front waistband. We're gonna be cutting two of these um, with right sides together. So we're doing mirror images there. And then we also have the back waistband. Now, I wanna point out how this back waistband is double the size because we're gonna be folding this over so you'll only need one. And this is where your elastic is gonna be going. So we're creating a casing with this here. And then of course we're going to have um, our pattern piece number 11 which is the back so we're going to be cutting this on the mirror image and this is a large piece as you can see here i do want to highlight that there are two separate um shorten or lengthen lines here so if you need to lengthen or shorten your pants we have an area here in addition to here and then of course we also have the pattern piece number 10 which is the front and so the front has the pleating, which you can see right here, we've got the pleats. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you highlight or otherwise identify the pleat lines that align with your size because we have them all here. And then you wanna make sure that you have the marking for your pockets as well. So just wanna highlight those things on the pattern. So as you go to cut out your fabrics, make sure that you're transferring those uh, notches as well as the important um, the important identifiers from the pattern to your actual fabric. One of my favorite things to use is the um, erasable pens. I'm gonna show you the ones that I use. I get it, a lot of people love to use chalk. I personally love to use these pens. These are the Pilot Friction and they erase when you apply hot uh, temperatures to them. Uh, so when, as you're ironing, all of your markings get ironed out and you don't have to worry about that. So for my fabric choice for 
the sew along today I'm gonna be doing this in a camo twill I just love this I got this fabric from Joann's and I feel like this is something that is really versatile um, I made the pants that are on this cover to be a little bit more dressy this is a lighter weight fabric so I feel like for fall this pant uh, fabric is going to be something that makes these pants really versatile and again versatility is what I want to go for with this pattern you have the ability to take these to dress pants to casual pants and that's something that's important to me and you can determine what look you're going for with your fabric choice so we're going to be going ahead with some camo so let's go ahead and get our pattern cut out all right so now that we've got all of our pieces cut up for our pants as well as our interfacing here. This is for the front waistband. And then we also have the elastic for the back waistband. So now it's time for us to go ahead and piece this together. The first thing that we're gonna be doing is we're going to be making our pleats. Now I have gone ahead and marked the area for my pleats. You can kind of see it, but I doubt you'll be able to see it from as far up as the camera is. And so in order to make my pleats, I'm gonna just go ahead and <clears throat> bring together the two lines because we are creating the pleat here. So this is going to be one of my pleats and it's gonna be stitched down, so straight down. And then I'm going to clip together the other pleat as well. And so you're just going to be lining up the actual um, lines together and then stitching down about two inches. So this is one side, and so now I'm gonna go ahead and clip the other side together. Pleats add such a classic look to pants that I just love. And as someone who has a fupa, one of the things that I also really like about pleats is that they make it a little easier to you kind of disguise the lower belly. So, um, just a little fun fact there. And so now we've clipped together both of these sets. And so now I'm gonna to go to the machine and I'm just gonna do a straight stitch down two inches on each of these pleats. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put in the seam in the front. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clip this together. And then we're also going to do the exact same thing for the back piece as well. So we have that, and then we've got our back piece that we are going to go ahead, oops, flip that over the right way. And we're also going to just go ahead and clip this together because we're gonna be sewing straight down here as well. I'll be using my serger to go ahead and finish off my seams. Uh, you can go ahead and either do a uh, flat lock, you can do, I mean, not a flat lock, but you can do a French seam, whichever kind of finishing makes you feel really good and does not irritate your skin, definitely do that. So I prefer to finish mine off with the serger, so I'm going to go ahead and stitch this down with a 5 8 seam allowance, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish that seam off with my serger. Okay, so our crotch curve is completely done. I'm gonna go ahead and put my right sides together of the pants, and then I'm gonna sew the inner thigh area only. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the insides are lined up perfectly, and I'm gonna go ahead and clip that together. And then I'm going to make sure that my ankle area is lined up as well on both sides so we've got that first side and now we have this second side here so we're gonna go ahead and clip this and now I'm gonna go ahead and sew this together 
I'm gonna just do a, again, a 5 8 seam allowance here. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish it with my serger. So now I'm gonna use this time to go ahead and add my pockets. Um, these pockets are going to be flush with the waistband up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip these into place so that way they um, will be sewn on next and um, lining it up with that waistband will make it so that it's a lot easier to go ahead and make sure that those pockets are um, going to line up perfectly when we put our pants together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this back piece and then I'm going to go ahead and clip them to the front as well. So this is the back. Flip this around and that is a leg and here we are with the front like listen these pleats are just giving me so much joy I am loving them so much now if you notice the pockets have are on an angle and that's fine that is so that they match up with this front piece here as you can see it's completely flush with that so we're going to go ahead and make sure that that is lined up because after we sew these together, we're going to make sure that the pockets go forward so that way when we put the waistband on, it catches that and so that the pockets are actually facing forward on the pants. So we've got this and then our last pocket. So I'm going to just go ahead and sew on these pockets. I'm just going to be doing a straight line. Again, I am not sewing these quite together just yet. I'm just sewing them to the actual pants right now. So I'm just going to be doing a straight line right here. Again, making sure that I use my 5 8 seam allowance. It's really important that you make sure that your seam allowance is correct. If it is not correct, these pants will not fit you the way that they are meant to. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and prepare our waistband. So I am gonna iron my waistband first. I find that if my waistband is already heated, it, it makes adhering it way easier. So we're gonna just go ahead, press this out first. And we're doing our front waistband first. So now I'm gonna just put, this is the, um, the interfacing. And so depending upon what kind of interfacing you have will depend upon how long you need to hold this down for. And it's okay if your interfacing is a little shorter than your actual um, garment, that's fine. Okay, so now that's together. What I'm gonna do before I actually take off, well, let me make sure that the front looks good, right? Ooh. So definitely before you um, move, make sure that you inspect your waistband to make sure there's no bubbles because that can happen. It's okay, just hit it with some more steam, iron, etc. until that waistband is nice and ironed out. So as you can see we have here, it is completely ironed out. Before I actually take off the back of this, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put my right sides together and I'm gonna sew, again, being mindful of my 5 8 seam allowance, I'm gonna go ahead and sew this top part together. So that way, when I flip the wrong sides together and I take off this paper backing and then I iron it, it's essentially gonna be like one piece. I went ahead and I attached that and I have trimmed down my seam allowance to be this 1 4th of an inch. And so now what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to go ahead. I'm preparing to finish this waistband now versus doing it on the pants. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I've got my 5 8 seam allowance, which is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do a memory hem right now. So that way when I attach this to the pant, this is already um, prepped to be um, sewn down as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and press this up. So now that I've got that together, I'm going to go ahead and take this back to the machine and we are going to be putting our right sides together for the front because we are working on this front piece. So here's our front and so I'm going to be attaching this, I'm going to fold my pockets in and I'm going to be attaching it like this and so it'll fit like that so I'm gonna go ahead and take this to the machine to go ahead and take care of now okay so I've got this waistband onto the front let's just kind of take a look at how this looks I've already trimmed down my seam allowance here um, it looks like I left a little something on here um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up folding this over this way. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take off the backing of this, um, of my interfacing. So that way I don't have to worry about any paper or anything like that. do is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to push these the inner seam up so that way when I you go ahead and top stitch this area that I had already gone ahead and um, pressed down it's already like in there and I love that I love that for us so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this very slowly Okay, so now it's time for us to go ahead and prep this back piece. We're gonna go ahead and press this out. And then what we're gonna do with this piece is we're gonna end up ironing and doing some memory hem for this as well. And so because we are going to be folding this in half. I am going to just go ahead and fold this in half because I want that crease to be nice and like creased out. Okay. So I'm folding this in half, ironing. And then I'm only going to do a five inch seam allowance or um, little crease on one side because the other side we're going to do the back waistband just like we did the front waistband okay 
So we've got this together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and measure it down, fold it, and then this is going to be where we put our crease in. And we are going to do right sides together first, like this. So we'll be taking this, we've got our right sides together, and then we're going to flip it over and top stitch that down, and then we're going to thread our casing through. And then we'll be almost finished. Okay, so now that we have gone ahead and added this back waistband in, which looks beautiful, we're gonna go ahead and thread our elastic through. This elastic casing, or rather threading this elastic, oh, so easy. So, we're gonna just go ahead and add that in. Pull this baby on through. So I'm going to go ahead and clip this, or rather use a pin, so that I don't pull this through. So here we have our pin there. I'm gonna go ahead and finish pulling my elastic through. Very gently, because it looks like my threader My thread I got lost. Let's see if we can go back in and capture it. Okay, so now we've got our thread through. And so I'm also gonna go ahead and just pin this side as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and exercise my elastic through here. And now what's left for us to do is to just go ahead and sew our front sides to our back sides. And so we'll just be sewing down the line and again, because we want our pockets to be facing the front, we're gonna turn this in, okay? So just be mindful of that as you're sewing, that this is actually going to end up in the front like so, okay? So let's go ahead and head to the machine and handle that piece there. Okay, so now that we have gone ahead and made these pockets official dishel, we've gone ahead and stitched the side seams as well as finish off those seams. Now we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to memory press my hem. So that way um, hemming these pants will be super easy. And I'm actually going to do two folds so, so that way this bottom piece is tucked in and I don't have to worry about, um, and I won't have to worry about that fraying. So let me just go ahead and snip the excess away. And then I'm going to do a very small, small, small hem first. And then I'm gonna press this and then I'm gonna fold it up again. All right, and so now we're gonna just fold it up one more time. And that way it will be beautifully hemmed. See, this is the reason why I like to use the iron before I hem, because these this, this fabric just be all over the place, acting like it doesn't know what it is supposed to be doing while I'm over here. And it knows good and full well that it's supposed to be tucking 
and then it may not. So that's why we're gonna just go ahead and hem this so that we don't even have that problem. I'm gonna make it a little tighter. There we go. And just hit it with a little press action and then we're gonna do the other leg. And after you've done that hem, now you've got your finished garment. And as you can see here, it looks so good. So we've got the pants, we have it completely hemmed. And I just want to point out these beautiful pleats. Look at that. The pleats look marvelous. And again, this pant features a flat front with an elasticized waistband. Again, many thanks for watching and purchasing my pattern. Don't forget to subscribe.